on these lands and their stolen lands that are now being occupied but for capitalistic, patriarchal, sexist, racist reasons. Um, I do identify as Pat, Pat Mash, Mash P. Wampanoag, and so for that, yeah, I just want to say thank you for all being here, recognizing that, allowing us to have a space. Um, and without further ado, I think that was it as far as fame goes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to introduce Ray um, to Hawks Watson. He's actually part of the Mashapak Nahagansett tribe here that recently actually served Rhode Island and the city of Cranston, city of Providence papers to sue them against basically stolen land, environmental racism, and all of those things. So, Ray. <laughs> It's got the squamps in, that is to say, peace be unto you, friends and family. How are you doing? Uh, my name is Raymond Tuhawks Watson. Traditionally, it would be Nisha Wushiwana, which in the Narragansett dialect is Two Hawks. Uh, I am Pumham Sajim of the Mashipag Narragansett tribe. For those who may not be aware, uh, traditionally, the Narragansett nation was broken up into several different villages. Uh, each village, of course, for the chief, and then they all paid homage to two grand chiefs um, at the time of colonization and European contact. It was Canonicus and Myantinomi, who were the two grand sachems. Um, and I've been uh, blessed enough to be able to trace my bloodlines back to my mother's all the way back to Canonicus. So this is truly uh, my people's lands, and it's good to be here greeting you all. I also want to say greetings to our family and friends that are here from so far away. Blessing to have you in Algonquin territory. I hope you've been enjoying your time. We have a round of um, here, the effort to uh, protect indigenous rights that's going on out at uh, <coughs> Standing Rock, it really resonates with us. Um, as you may know, this was kind of the first point of contact for colonization. And a lot of the processes and strategies and ways that they learned to kind of subdue our people started right here in these lands and down into the Caribbean. So. Uh, we honor and acknowledge the warrior spirit that we've been keeping alive here in the East Coast, and we want to honor that as well, well brothers and sisters out west. I don't want to do too much uh, jibber-jabbering today. I'm supposed to be back on the 15th, I think, with Fang to talk a little bit more about the work that I've been doing here in particular. Uh, but they did mention that a few months ago we had the opportunity to serve the state of Rhode Island, city of Providence, and city of Cranston with an alien tort statute claim for environmental racism under just cogents. Uh, very interesting situation because they're uh, trying to work a couple things as they always do in the legal system, uh, but we think we've got them this time. So um, if you're interested in hearing more about that, please do check us out on February 15th. I believe we'll be down in the Fang's office. Um, and I just want to say to you all, one in the continent, just have a great evening. And Peach Kanash, I do look forward to catching base with you all soon. I believe.